हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर अनिकेत पावनोजी एंड यू आर वाचिंग बेसिक केमिस्ट्री वेलकम टू द सीरीज ऑफ वीडियोस ऑन मॉलिकुलर ऑर्बिटल थियोरी इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव स्टडीड बेरिलियम डाइहाइड्राइड मॉलिक्यूल इन दिस वीडियो वी विल स्टडी ट्राईहाइड्रोजन आयन बिफोर वी मूव ऑन काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल टू गेट द नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ माई न्यू वीडियोज वेन वी स्टडी ट्राईहाइड्रोजन आयन ट्राईहाइड्रोजन आयन एंड ट्राईहाइड्रोजन आर सपोज टू बी द सिंपलेस्ट पॉलीएटोमिक स्पीसीज where trihydrogen is a hypothetical case and trihydrogen ion is found rarely a trihydrogen ion has been detected spectroscopically in the auroras of jupiter saturn and uranus this trihydrogen ion may also occur as a reaction intermediate in solution this can be formed by the combination of hydrogen molecule and hydrogen ion now let's apply molecular orbital theory to study the structure of trihydrogen ion To begin with hydrogen has atomic number 1 and its electronic configuration is 1 is 1 to study trihydrogen ion we need to consider three hydrogen atoms with their 1s orbitals now there are two possibilities either this trihydrogen ion can be linear or it can be triangular now whether the arrangement is linear or triangular that we have to understand by application of molecular orbital theory to understand molecular orbital theory among three atoms we have to consider one atom as the central atom and other two as peripheral atoms now according to the molecular orbital theory first we have to apply linear combination of atomic orbital method that is the formation of group orbitals according to this method the peripheral atoms first combine with each other to form group orbitals hence ha and hc will combine with each other that is two are combining two will be formed out of which one will be bonding molecular orbital termed as psi1 and other will be anti bonding molecular orbital termed as psi2 psi1 and psi2 are called as group orbitals now according to the symmetry adapted linear combinations method these group orbitals will now combine with the atomic orbital of this central atom now we have to match the symmetry of the central atom and the group orbital according to the symmetry the central atomic orbital can combine with psi1 group orbital now again two are combining two will be formed out of which one will be bonding molecular orbital termed as 1 sigma and other as anti bonding molecular orbital termed as 3 sigma kindly pay attention to the signs of the bonding and anti bonding orbital for bonding it is addition and for anti bonding it is subtraction now there is one more group orbital that is psi2 now there is no suitable orbital to overlap with the psi2 that is there is no symmetrically available orbital to overlap with psi2 therefore this psi2 will remain as non bonding termed as 2 sigma now first we will consider the linear arrangement of the molecular orbitals according to this the three atomic orbitals will be arranged in linear fashion in case of 1 sigma which is a bonding molecular orbital then second will be the non bonding molecular orbital that is the psi2 and third will be 3 sigma the anti bonding molecular orbital now we have to draw the molecular orbital diagram for this at the left hand side we have atomic orbitals of the central atom and on the right hand side there are two group orbitals that is psi1 and psi2 with one unpaired electron each at the center there will be molecular orbitals of trihydrogen ion as we have seen 1s orbital combines with the psi1 group orbital therefore it forms a bonding molecular orbital which has lower energy and the other will be anti bonding molecular orbital which will have a higher energy we have seen that the psi2 group orbital remains non bonding therefore it will remain at the center according to aufbau principle and hans rule both the electrons will get occupied in 1 sigma bonding molecular orbital hence the energy of the orbital is 1 sigma will be at the lower side then second is 2 sigma and third is 3 sigma This is all about the arrangement of the atomic orbitals when we consider linear arrangement of the three atoms. Now when we have to consider a triangular arrangement of the three atoms in case of bonding the three atomic orbitals will be arranged like this. In case of non bonding the two atomic orbitals that is A and C will be arranged like this but compared to linear arrangement they will come little close to each other. And in case of 3 sigma this will be the arrangement of the three atomic orbitals. now when we compare the linear arrangement versus triangular arrangement 
In case of one sigma bonding molecular orbital in linear arrangement, it is bonding between A and B and bonding between B and C. We can say that there are two net bonding characters. Whereas in case of triangular arrangement, it is bonding between A and B, bonding between B and C and bonding between A and C. Therefore, now there are three net bonding characters. As the bonding character increases, the energy of the system decreases. Now in linear arrangement in case of two sigma molecular orbital, though they do not have any interaction because of the space between two atomic orbitals, but when it moves to the triangular arrangement, these two atomic orbitals, they move closer to each other and the net antibonding character increases compared to linear arrangement. Now in case of three sigma antibonding molecular orbital, in linear arrangement, it is antibonding between A and B and antibonding between B and C. There is no such relation between A and C and hence we can say that there are two net antibonding characters. Compared to that, in case of triangular arrangement, it is antibonding between A and B, antibonding between B and C, but there is bonding between A and C. Hence, we can say that there is one net antibonding character, whereas in case of linear arrangement, there are two net antibonding characters. So compared to linear, in triangular arrangement, the energy of the system decreases. Now in triangular arrangement, we have one bonding orbital, which is termed as A according to the molecular orbital theory and Mulliken symbols. And we have seen that the energy of the two sigma orbital increases and the energy of the three sigma decreases. In fact, both these molecular orbitals, they have same energy. Therefore, according to the molecular orbital symbols, it is termed as E, which stands for doubly degenerate molecular orbitals. Now, according to this, when we construct the molecular orbital diagram, compared to linear arrangement, there is only one difference. That is the energy of the two sigma increases and energy of three sigma decreases and they become of equal energy which is termed as E. Therefore, in case of triangular arrangement, the order of energy of molecular orbital is 1 sigma is at lower side and 2 sigma and 3 sigma, they have equal energy. Here also both the electrons get occupied in the bonding molecular orbital, same as that of linear arrangement. Just the difference is in case of linear arrangement, there are total three molecular orbitals. One is bonding, the second is non-bonding and third is anti-bonding. Whereas in case of triangular arrangement, there is one bonding molecular orbital and two net antibonding orbitals. Hence, according to the molecular orbital theory, the molecular electronic configuration is A square as both the electrons are occupied in the bonding molecular orbital. Magnetic behavior is diamagnetic as there is no unpaired electron and bond order is calculated as number of electrons in bonding minus number of electrons in antibonding divided by 2 that is calculated as 1. Thus, according to molecular orbital theory, in order to get extra stability, the structure of trihydrogen ion is not linear, but it is a triangular ion with three center two electron bonds. I hope this video will definitely help you in exams and it is worth watching. If you like my video, click on like, do share and subscribe my channel. If you want to mention something or ask something, mention it in the comment box. Also hit the bell icon to get the notification of my new videos and keep watching basic chemistry. Thank you.